Hello and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be playing the daily challenge and like usual I'm going to be playing with no moving. I also have a special guest for the start of this video. Uh, my dog would not leave me alone, uh, she would not leave the room so I thought I would introduce her to everyone. So this is Ethel, this is my dog, uh, she's so precious, she's so cute and yeah she wouldn't leave me alone so um, she is going to be in the room. I don't think she's going to stay on my lap the whole time but we'll see. We'll see won't we? Uh, but yeah, she's so sweet. Um, yeah, I know it's sort of weird that I'm uploading two days in a row, but I've had quite a lot of free time for some reason. Like I don't really know what's gone on, and I just thought, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll just film a challenge. Why not? Um, so I'm gonna stop going on, and we'll get started. I'm just gonna. Sorry, it's quite hard to manoeuvre with a dog in my arms, but I'm just gonna move myself in. Okay, <laughs> and we'll get started. So if you're new to my channel, um, you will know that I don't move in the daily challenge. Sometimes I don't move pan or zoom, but um, today I thought I'll allow myself a bit of panning and zooming, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll just see where we are. Okay, so it looks pretty promising because we've got some language. Okay, and this is great. I mean, we've literally got where we are. So Universidad Nacional de Rosario. So Rosario is in Argentina. Um, so yeah we pretty much know where we are uh, which is wonderful I mean I don't know if I don't know how many buildings there are I don't know if it's sort of the specific building but I think this might be a street sign as well so this is wonderful so we've got I can't read that Avanalino Lodchichi yeah gave that my best go oh look Ethel look there's a little dog there you're a dog <laughs> that's so cute anyway um okay where do you think we are where do you think we are she won't be in every video don't worry guys she just is being a bit clingy today but i'm gonna go in and look for this place to be fair because i think we could find this spot on i mean we might not but this is very helpful so rosario is oh where's rosario it's here and I mean, the only thing is, I don't know whether there's sort of multiple university buildings. Um, but we will see. Do you want to go? Do you want to go back onto the bed? One second. <laughs> Ethel. Ethel. What are you doing? Hang on. There we go. Off you go. Bye bye. Sorry about that. Right. What are you doing? Okay, now she's just sort of rolling around on the floor, but that's fine. Um, yeah, she's gone onto my bed. I don't know if you can see that in the background. Uh, let me have a look. I'm running out of time now because I've been chatting away to the dog. Um, this looks like it might be harder than I first thought um, because the buildings are quite... Well, the signs aren't very clear. Okay, we have a school, but I don't think that's the right one. What was the street called again? I'm just going to put a marker down there, just in case we do run out of time. Okay. Um, there's quite a lot of schools around here, so I don't know whether this is sort of the university area, but we are running out of time. That's a primary school, because it says Escuela Primaria. Um, I do know a bit of Spanish, but yeah, I don't know if we're going to find it, so I'm just going to guess. Okay, yeah, and we weren't, so it wasn't actually in Rosario, which is a bit irritating. Uh, I'll just look where we were. So we were actually in Cas Casilda, and I think that's a vet's. So it's like a vet school, uh, which is cool. But yeah, let's move on to the next round. That wasn't too bad, although that was quite easy, I think. Well, not easy, but, you know, it had quite a lot of good info. Okay, so this is good because we are clearly in Israel, because we have the Hebrew which is very helpful so it's just about figuring out where it is so i think all the signs are going to be in okay so we've got shaitan menahem seven so it looks it's weird because i think if i hadn't seen this language i don't know if i would have said this was israel because i don't think i've seen the locations looking quite like this before like it looks quite i don't know it looks sort of european but Maybe that's just me being stupid. 
Um, but yeah, we've got some some people just hanging out. 33, 7. So I'm going to presume we're in Tel Aviv. I could be wrong, but just these big skyscrapers in the background. I don't really have a very good knowledge of, of Israeli cities. So Tel Aviv is the only sort of big one that I know. Um, I mean, obviously there's places like Jerusalem and... I, hyphen i don't really know anything about any of these other places i don't know if they've got the big skyscrapers so i will just have a look here i'm just going to zoom in and see what the streets are called so whether they have the seven or 33 for example but it looks like they just have the street names um which is fine but i don't know if we're going to find it so we've got what was it called again Shit in Menachem. I just don't think I'm going to find it. I mean, I don't think I'm even in the right place. I think we're a bit too far away. Although, I don't think we're in... I don't know. I can't really think. I'm just going to do this. I don't really know. Okay, great. So, that's actually a really good score. Although, I don't think that was that hard because the language is obviously so distinctive. Um, But, yeah. I don't think I was going to find that, to be fair. Yeah, I don't think I would have located that. But um, it's a good score nonetheless, so we will move on to the next round um, and hope that it's relatively easy. Oh, that's so annoying that we've got something blurred out. Okay, so this is an interesting one because it's very interesting terrain, so it's quite mountainy. And this is really cool. There's this massive mountain here. Um, but some language would be super helpful. So I think we're in Europe. But I can't make that out. It's definitely a European language though, which is helpful. I'm going to see what this says here. Camara de Lobos. Is that the Portuguese symbol? I think that might be the you know on the flag they have the, the symbol I think we might be Portugal but it doesn't look like Portugal this is a really confusing location oh, what does that say I just wish I could make out something a bit more specific it's just that the terrain is really interesting. Like it doesn't look like a, it doesn't look almost like a mainland country. I, d I feel like that doesn't make sense at all. I think we might be on an island just based on the way it looks, but I think that's Portugal. So, are we on, is it the Azores or Madeira? I'm just going to have a look at the Azores and at Madeira because I think that could be the case. So, these are the Azores and this is Madeira. So, actually, I'm just going to go back and see what that said. Camara de Lobos and see if I can spot that anywhere. I'm just running out of time and I kind of want to look at every island, which I don't think I've got time to do. These don't look right, but they have got big mountains on. So it could be that. Hmm. Camara de Lobos. I'm just going to quickly go to Madeira. I think this is the main island. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It is. Would you believe that? There it is. I don't think that's right. I think we're a bit further away. Oh, I don't know where to go. Like here, maybe? I don't know. Amazing. Oh my god. That was so lucky. <sighs> you know, I'm, to be fair, I'm glad I didn't just think, oh, the Azores looks right. I'll just leave it there. Um, because we managed to find that place. Um, so yeah, we we're a bit further up. We were close to a mountain. But that's so lucky. And that's also really weird because I'm actually going on holiday to Madeira uh, in a few weeks, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, there we go. 
So well done if you managed to get that one. That one was pretty, pretty insane, really. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty pleased I didn't just stick with my original uh, thoughts and just went for mainland Portugal. <sighs> well, this is just not going to work, is it? Because <laughs> this is South America, I think, um, and it better not be Brazil. But I think it will be. And I just, you know, I have absolutely nothing against Brazil or the people of Brazil. I'm sure it's a wonderful country. Yeah, it's Brazil. But it's just, in GeoGuessr, it's so hard to get a good score on Brazil if you don't know exactly where you are. And I don't. But we've got this Sao, which is quite common in Brazil, I think. Sao, I don't know if that's a, like an area. I'm just going to have a look on the map. But this is definitely Brazil, uh, which is really ridiculous. I don't think I'm going to find it. I don't know what to do. Barreras. Escola. Barreras. I mean, I don't even know why I'm bothering looking because I've got absolutely no idea what it's going to be. It's just going near Brasilia. No idea probably would have seen that to be fair if I'd actually have not given up but there we go um it wasn't too bad but it was Brazil which is always a tricky one um it's always a very hard one I think um but that's not a terrible score um all things considered so we will move on to the final round and we're not doing too badly to be fair I think we could get quite a good score today um but I think this is also going to be quite a tricky one Um, so we have some Spanish, uh, so I think we're in South America, pharmacy, the problem is it's all quite difficult to make out, like I can't sort of see specifically what things are saying, just apart from sort of some generic Spanish, oh we've got this guy here, so we have a political candidate I think, or something like that, um, but I'm not too sure about this one. I'm just going to look at the cars. I don't know. I don't know. What does this bus say? I don't know because I think we're in South America. I don't think we're central. It looks quite warm. What does this guy look like? I don't know. Um, okay. What does that say? I can't make it out. So my initial reaction is to go for somewhere like Bolivia. But I, I don't feel confident with that. Or Argentina. It could be Argentina again. I don't think we're in Uruguay. I don't think we're that far over. I think we are. Chile, Peru. No. I think I want to go for Bolivia, but then I don't, but I don't really know where else to go. Okay, so bit of a bit of a disappointing one to end on. So we were in Chile, we were in Santiago, so quite far down, so we didn't get that many points, which is a bit of a shame, but that was quite hard, I think. So we'll look at the summary. Yeah, all in all, it's not a bad game. Obviously, I'm disappointed by that last one. I think sort of I did let myself down there a little bit. But if we go through it, first, yeah, I mean, we had the, the city name. So, second, language, very obvious. I think I got quite lucky with guessing with Tel Aviv. But yeah, third, very good. Very pleased with that one. That was quite a, quite a lucky one. But also, I think, you know, I did a pretty good job with that round. That one, Brazil. I think I let myself down here a bit by just being quite uh, pessimistic about my own ability, um, just because I find Brazil quite difficult. But there we go. The fifth one, it was a, it was just an unlucky one. I think that was quite tough. I'm sure if I, I think the thing is, if I had moved on that round, I definitely would have found out that it was Chile and probably Santiago, really. But there's not much you can do. Um, so yeah, quite a South America heavy round, uh, or heavy game today. But yeah, let me know how you did. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's upload. Obviously, my second upload in the past two days uh, get me but yeah that won't be that won't be something that happens a lot I just happen to have a little bit of free time at the moment so thought I'd uh, thought I'd film 
Uh, but yeah, I will be posting something tomorrow on the kind of regular, the regular day for uploads. I will be posting a subscriber special, so a 1k subscriber special. So make sure to uh, keep an eye out for that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today uh, and I'll see you in the next video.